Mm -hmm. Just going to turn the music off. Otherwise, we get told off by the Facebook police. Um, okay, it's uh, Wednesday. Uh, it's 11.30. Do I look um, veritably younger? Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I had a dermaplaning thing done yesterday and then filled my face with some hyaluronic acid. So by, uh, by next Wednesday, I'm going to look like I'm 24, which is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> 20 years younger, apparently. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, um, so uh, today we are going to go, uh, my plan in my head is um, in a few weeks time, hopefully we're going to be able to get back into the gym. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we were keeping fresh in our heads what we were doing when we were in the gym in a, our basic routine. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've uh, struggled to find some weights today. Uh, so I'm going to be using a rather heavy amount of uh, antiviral. Okay, don't worry. You see, this is what we use in the clinic. Uh, it's 99% of bacteria, 99.9% uh, .9 of bacteria and viruses. Um, so... It works in seconds, so hopefully if I'm like moving it around, non-paraben, child and pet friendly, vegan, uh, yeah, so I'm going to lift this, hopefully it's going to make me, uh, you know, super strong. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I have our uh, cards, anyway, wait for, oh, do you know what I realised, like, this is backwards isn't it? Uh, so I have the cards, um, which are the ones we have in the gym. And we're going to run through these today with our weights um, and uh, get back on track. And yeah, so don't forget Saturday is a little bit different because Saturday is, it should have been Race for Life. I think a lot of us have all put our names down to do Race for Life. Um, so Saturday we're going to do a challenge instead. It's 2,600 uh, steps, I think, 5K. Um, so you don't have to do that. You can do as much as you want. I'm going to attempt to do some sort of weird challenge involving steps going up and down um, because apparently it's rubbish weather on Saturday so I don't really want to go for a 5k walk in a thunderstorm personally. Um, okay so I'm going to crack on now because I feel like I'm waffling. I'm going to do our stretches, get our bodies nicely warmed up okay and as usual starting with our stretch if you've not eaten properly today, don't forget that might make you feel a little bit less of strength. If you uh, haven't drunk enough water, that can affect you. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water um, to help. Um, stretch your backs of your shoulders and your arms here. Good. Hope everyone's been having a good week. The weather's a bit rubbish. Uh, I could do with a bit of sunshine. If I'm honest, tricep stretch. So stretch at the back of your um, your arm here. So this arm is loose down as far as you can. Don't forget, as we always say, don't push the uh, the stretch for the first ones. Um, hello, Jean. Good morning to you. Hope you're okay. And stretch the other one as well. I've also been getting lots of uh, orders. So if you're making masks. For people, I've been taking quite a few orders through the Wellness Centre, um, so uh, that's going really well, brilliant. I'm not a sewer, so I think that you're amazing if you can make stuff like that, personally. Okay, good. So we're going to do our bicep stretch. Don't forget, palms are backwards, facing backwards, shoulders nice and relaxed. Push your arms backwards, shoulder blades back together behind you. That's lovely. Good stuff, okay, now, so we're gonna do our neck stretches. So pop your chin down to your chest, and then pop your hands at the back of your head, pop your elbows together in front of you, and an extra stretch. Do a nice deep breaths while you're in the position. Good stretch between the shoulder blades, that as well, which is the back of the neck. Drop your ear down to one side, and then, Use your hand on the same side to just add a little bit more stretch. If you want to reach down with the arm on the opposite side, you can do that. Push your arm down towards your knee and you'll feel that super stretch. And the other way, ear down to your shoulder. Keep those shoulders relaxed. 
good. Stretch down. That's lovely. Okay, so make sure your feet are now a little bit wider than hip width apart. Parallel, take your knees off lock so they're not locked backwards. And off lock, tuck that bum underneath. Really squeeze under, coccyx bones underneath. Hands in front of you, chin down to your chest. Roll down to stretch that lower back. Take a few deep breaths in while you're there and slowly unroll back up. Good morning, Deborah. Hope you're well. Okay, so we've done our neck, our backs. We need to do our trunk area now. So again, make sure that those feet are slightly wider than hip width and parallel. Okay, that's important. Um, if you want to take your feet a bit wider to stretch in the hip flexor, that's absolutely fine. Um, keep the pelvis facing forward while we rotate so that we're not twisting through the knee, okay? So pelvis nice and still. If you need to counter rotate to stop this twist happening, you can do that, okay? Right round to the edge. Take a nice deep breath in. Make sure you keep that body upright. Keep the shoulders down and then come back to the middle as you breathe out. Lovely, and we're going to do the same in the other direction. And breathe out. Good. Okay, lovely. So now we're going to stretch down to the side. If you want to put your feet a little bit wider, you can do that. Pop your hip out to the side and then lean down in the opposite direction. Again, if you want to add the extra stretch you can do with the other arm and then slowly come back to the middle and go in the other direction. Pop that hip out, lean down. Good, come back up again. Brilliant, Ooh, head rush. Okay, so we've done our trunk, we've done the sides of the trunk and what we need to do now is our hamstrings. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Ali. Hope you're good. Stretch right down to the floor if you can. Toes if you can. Try and feel the stretch in the back of the hamstring, which is the back of the thigh. Let yourself hang. If you can touch the floor, how much can you touch the floor? Don't forget, we don't push ourselves at the beginning too much. Just as much as you can manage. And back up again. That's brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to step to the side, a little bit wider with the feet, lean with one knee, so stretching the inside of that thigh. Keep your body upright, core nice and tight. Keep your shoulders down and switch sides. Good. Okay, that's lovely. Good. Feet back together again. Take a step forwards. Keep that back foot flat on the floor and lean forward with the front knee. Keeping your body upright again and nice and tight with the core. Feel that stretch. Good. Feet back together. Swap to the other leg. Good. Lovely. Feet back together again. Brilliant. Okay, so the first exercise that we do is the um, the uh, the dumbbell lateral raise. Okay, so this can be any weight, and obviously we have been using various different things like bottles of wine and all sorts of stuff. So just grab something that you're comfortable with, um, and we're going to do 15 reps in theory. Um, and we're going to do one weight on each side. So we're doing not doing them at the same time, we're going to do them individually, okay? Um, if you've not got any water, go get some. If you have a weight you think is a bit too heavy, um, you can always just do the movement, the reps, with your um, hands without the weight if you want to, okay? Um, and then we're just going to, the movement is just straight out to the side with the weight and then keep the shoulder we're not going above 90, just up to this point, okay? If you can't manage that, 
here is fine. You just don't want to start putting some resistance through that action, okay? So we're going to go with 15. I have to count now, don't I? <laughs> it's good sound effects. <laughs> Fifteen. Good. Okay, swap arms. Don't forget one arm will be stronger than the other. That's the last one, 15. Good, okay. Sarah, hello. Hope you're doing okay. We're going through these exercise sheets that we have in the gym. Okay, so the next one on our list is the front lunge. You can do this with a weight or without. We all know how to do this one. We've done this one fairly regularly. If you're using a weight, keep the weight fairly close to your body. When you step forward, the further away you have it, the more difficult it is, and the more off balance you are. So if you're holding a weight, make sure you hold it fairly close to your body. Start with your feet close together. We're doing standing lunges, so we're not walking, um, they're just stepping to the front. Okay, so you take a step forward and then drop. Don't forget, don't let your knee go over the front of your toes. Okay, we're going to do 15 on each leg. Try and go as low as you can, because that will work your glutes, your hamstrings and your core more. Good, swap legs. water. Sarah, take it steady today. Okay. Dumbbells. Front raises like you did before. Get your weight, whatever your weight is. Okay. Um, front raises so simple and um, what we're going to do Take that weight straight out in front of us to a 90 degree position. We're again working our shoulders. If you lift your shoulder as you're elevating the weight, you will include your trapezius muscle and we don't want to do that. We're trying to isolate the shoulder, okay? There will be obviously a little bit of forearm and bicep because we're holding the weight at the end. And if you keep your elbow bent, you'll engage your bicep more. So we really want to keep our arm as straight as possible, okay? Again, you will have a weaker side, don't panic. One arm at once, and we're gonna do 15 on each side, okay? Keep that core in, knees off lock.
Last one. And swap arms. last one 15 well done excellent okay so now we're going to do our our favorite squats everyone loves squats squats are brilliant for getting off the chairs <laughs> when we're old and they're brilliant because we're going to strengthen the legs we need to strengthen these and the glutes and the core at the same time now I don't want you to do this one with a weight. What I want you to do today is to try to get down as low as you can, okay? So if you go in down into a squat like this, that's all right. The lower you go, the more effective it is on glute strength and the more effective it is for your core. So don't do it with a weight, concentrate on the depth of this, okay? So try and get down as low as you can to the floor and then come up from that position. Make sure you squeeze in the glutes at the top. There should be a real drive as you come up, okay? And we're gonna, because obviously we're doing 30 of this. Okay, so you can have wide leg, toes turned out to the side if you want to slightly. It does help you get more depth. The nearer your feet are together, the more difficult that is. Um, so we're gonna do 30 in your own time. If you can't manage it, just stop. Really opens up your hips as well. Good for flexibility mobility halfway Good. Okay, so that's 30. Well done. Get some water. <laughs> that is my water, Ali. <laughs> P.S. I like, I like boss. You could just call me that more often. Okay. Side lunges. Now, the lady in this picture has a very fetching dumbbell that she's holding, okay? Don't worry about that. If you haven't got one, it's not an issue. We are going to utilize whatever we have in our space and our cupboards. So, if you are using a weight, what I would suggest is, like, you hold the weight fairly close to your body. Again, the further away it is, the more difficult your balance becomes. And also on top of that, we will have uh, more activity for our arms and they will fatigue quicker. So we all know how to do a side lunge. Start with your feet together. You're gonna take a step out to the side. Again, the further away you put your foot, the more of an action there will be. If you can't manage that, a little step to the side is fine but obviously the more you step out the better now if you are on a slippy floor be very careful we don't want any accidents if you are um, on a carpet in bare feet you can sometimes slip 
but just be real careful, okay? So we're going to do 15 on each side. Really drive as you come back up. The power comes from the leg that you're shifting out. Keep the car in. Use your wall, use your wall. If you want to lean on something, lean on something. We have done over the past 12 weeks varying different methods of how to do this. And um, remember the other week we did the beach body one, so it's like more like a normal press up on one knee. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, so you can either do it against the wall like this, make sure that your hands are not up here. Make sure they are in line with your shoulder because that is the movement that we want. If you want to do it leaning against something in this fashion, this makes it more like a press up, okay? But the problem with this is the further away you have your feet, the more pressure there is onto your arms, okay? So we're gonna do 15, stop, and then another 15. If you wanna do two different methods because you can manage 15 and then you want to do another 15 on the wall, do that. Okay, so I accidentally did 30 all in one go there. I forgot to stop at 15, sorry about that. Um, fully anticipating that the reason for that is that Sarah and myself were challenged by the Wakefield Trinity ladies football team to do 25 press-ups for 25 days. So I'm, uh, I've been practicing them. <laughs> that was great. Okay, so next is the tricep extension. Okay, so you can either do the tricep extension overhead like this, so we're making sure that all the movement is coming from the elbow. If you want to use this hand to stop the arm from coming down or moving, that's brilliant. That, of course, will target this muscle here, the bingo wings. If that's too difficult for you, don't worry. You can do it in a bent forward tricep extension like this. Make sure that you squeeze the tricep at the extension point. If you don't quite hit extension, you're really just using a pendulum. You have to really extend and squeeze, okay? Find a weight that's comfortable for you. And again, you will have one side that is stronger than the other. So judge it for yourself. If it's too heavy, pop it down and just do the movement. Once the muscle's fatigued, if you just do the movement without a weight at all, and you squeeze at the top, you will still get that tightening in the muscle. 
because I'm using this crazy weight, I'm not going to do an overhead. Okay, so we're going to do 15 on each side. Brilliant, 15 on each side, that's excellent. Okay, so grab a little bit of water if you need it. We're gonna move on to a step up, okay? Now, when we're in the gym, we have a step to use. Uh, you guys might have a step at home um, that you can do this on. I don't have a step, um, <laughs> obviously. So I'm just gonna do high knees. If you haven't got a step, don't worry if you're in your living room, we're gonna do high knees and try to contract your abs as you lift the knee, get your knee as high as you can, okay? So high knees, high dawn, high Lynette. Uh, hope you're having a great morning and thank you for joining us. So we're gonna do step ups. So just to remind you, high knees are like this. Step up, if you've got a step, you step on and then you lift the opposite knee, okay? Whatever you wanna do, that's fine. I suggest that you do 30 on each leg this time, okay? Because it's a little bit easier. Um, there's no weight involved. We're just trying to mobilize the hips, a little bit of strength, but it's a bit more for the heart is this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do alternate legs um, and then oh, count, to, count to 60. <laughs> that's two times 30. Look at my maths, Un unbelievable. Okay, so when you're ready, whatever you're gonna do, make sure you do 30 on each leg. Try and do your core and your abs. Good, 60, well done. Grab some water. Okay. Exercise number nine, the bicep curl. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be proud of us. We do need to work our biceps, because we do need to make sure that we can stuff, shopping, etc. Okay, so don't forget, there's two different hand positions. You can have your hand like this to lift the weight, or you can do a hammer like this, okay? Slightly different muscles, does make a difference for your wrist. If your wrist is a little bit sore, okay, change to whichever is the most comfortable for you, okay? Very important in a bicep curl that we're only activating the bicep, so we need to make sure that our feet are hip width parallel, knees off lock, keep that elbow into the side so the only muscle we're moving 
use the bicep. Okay, I'm gonna do 15 on each arm. And remember, one of your arms will be weaker than the other, okay? So don't panic. If you wanna get a tin of beans, something lighter, something heavier, you switch it yourself, okay? Good job, Smith, with you, isn't it? <laughs> and swap arms. You look brilliant, don't worry about it. Dawn, hello, welcome. Okay, next up is the shoulder press. Okay, shoulder press. Strict press is what we call it. Um, so your a strict press is without the addition of the knee bounds to the shoulder, straight above your head. Okay, um, keeping your hand in this position. If you wanna, again, change position, you can, but you will find it more difficult to keep your arm out to the side. And what we wanted to do is keep this position here. So the arm is 90 degrees to our body and it's a direct press above our shoulder, okay? So whatever weight you're gonna use, seems a little bit like a kettlebell for me here. That's a bit odd. Might be a bit too sloshy for me, that. Okay, I might swap that. Uh, I haven't really got anything suitable. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna use this very non-heavy <laughs> hand sanitizer, but we're gonna make sure we do the movement. Okay, so arm out to the side, keep your core nice and tight, thumb tucked under, knees off lock, and strict press is straight above the head, pure movement of the shoulder. Okay, when you get heavier weights, you can adopt a little knee bounce into the lift, which does give you a bit more drive. But this should be a strict press at the minute for us, okay? We're gonna do 15 on each side. Just control the movement. When you're coming back down, make sure that you are controlling the movement as well. So press up and then come back down nice and slowly. Okay, so don't rush the downward movement. It's called time under tension. It's a good technique to use if you're using a smaller weight. Drive up and slow down. Good. So swap arms, arm out to the side, 90 degrees, drive up with speed, slow back down. Keep the elbow out, don't let it drift to the middle.
15, perfect. Just realised it wasn't even closed. <laughs> okay, next one on our list is the calf raise. So calf raise is fairly straightforward. All right, the principle of this is that you're gonna come up onto your toes. What I find is that people do this less enthusiastically than they should, and they only go halfway. What you really wanna do is get your ankle fully all the way to the top. So if you have a look, most people do this, which is okay. What you need to do is push that a little bit further right onto the toes, really squeeze that calf muscle in the extension of its full range of movement, okay? If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. So grab like a handy chair or something like that, okay? And then what I would like to see is one leg, because if you do two, it's a little bit easy, okay? So we're gonna do one leg, take one foot off the floor, come up onto your toe, really as far as you can, hold it for a second, and then come back down, okay? You got that? Okay, 15 on each side. Make sure your chair doesn't have wheels on it. I really, <laughs> I'm about to jam it against the wall, okay? Good. All the way up. Make sure the calf is really working. Good, swap legs. Again, you'll have one weak and one knock. Good, okay, like I said, I haven't done those for a while. Okay, jumping jacks. Half jacks if you can't manage the full, okay? If you've not done them before, so a half jack, keep one foot still, step out to the side and come back. Arms go up to 90 degrees, like that, okay? If you wanna do a full jack, you jump out and do your arms at the same time. So, if you want to do 30 of these jumping jacks in your own time, make sure that your floor isn't too slippy. We don't want anyone having any accidents, okay? Good, 30. That one's good for your core. Good practice keeping the heels tight. <laughs> okay. Stepping back, lunges. Now, normally we would do this with a dumbbell and we step back and press. Just on your shoulders, so don't do that. Just gonna step backwards with a weight. If you want to do it with the weight, hold the weight in front of you, make sure it's nice and close to the body, and step backwards, okay? So, grab your weight, hug your weight to your body, and you make sure you step backwards onto nothing, no small children or dogs, <laughs> and you do 15 on each leg.
Okay, swap legs. Don't forget, you'll have one side, you're better at balancing than the other. some water. Now, we added the plank into our routines and a single leg balance into our routines as well, which are very important. Um, but we didn't have any cards for that. So we're going to do our single leg balance now. And we're going to try and do five on each leg and then we're going to do the plank at the very end after we've done our eels okay um so yeah five single leg balances if you can't remember what that is mark your spot on the floor one leg bend in the knee take the other foot off the floor and the idea is, is that you're going to use the uh the leg at the back as your balance as your cadence try and bend down so that you've got more bend in the knee Make sure you're focusing. You can keep your hands where you would like, straight in front of you, out to the side, doesn't matter. Balance, this is about balancing, okay? I take it nice and slowly, don't rush it. This is about the cadence and balance, keeping your core tight rather than rushing the event, okay? So. Don't forget, the closer you have your hands to the body, the more difficult it becomes, okay? Good, okay? Fab. So we're going to do our eels now. If you want to do a little progression of that, absolutely fine. Eels is our core and what we do is lay on our backs, something soft, knees up and we focus on our core here, pulling it in, pulling it up, pressing the back into the bed. If you want to turn it, take that a bit further and curl so the pelvis lifts, absolutely fine if you want to do that. Good, okay, stay in that position. All we're gonna do is push the lower back into the bed and just raise our head and shoulders off the bed. Do a small crunch, keeping the core nice and tight. We're gonna do, aim for 30.
Good. Last one. Okay, so turn over onto your stomach. We're going to do our plank. Don't forget you can do this with straight arms or you can do it on your elbows. Just do it for as long as you can. Good, so that's our shoulders and triceps stretched. Stretching helps to pump out the lactic acid when you've been fatiguing your muscles. So now biceps, push those shoulder blades together in your back. Make sure your palms are facing backwards. Shoulders nice and relaxed and down. Lovely, give your upper body a bit of a shake. Chin down to chest. Hands on the back of the head, elbows together in front. Lovely, back up to the middle. Good. Drop your ear towards one shoulder. Use the hand to give that extra, extra stretch. Back to the middle, drop down to the other side. Good, and back to the middle. Spine roll, feet slightly wider than hip width apart, knees off lock, make sure you curl that pelvis under, drop your chin to your chest and just roll down. Roll back up again, nice and slowly. Good, okay, so pop the hip out to the side, stretch down. Your opposite hand. Can you get further than you did at the beginning? If you can, just make sure you use that extra movement you've got. Come back up again, and the other way. And back up again. Trunk stretch. Keep that pelvis facing forwards. Twist round to the side, take a nice deep breath in, and breathe out. Good, and the other way, deep breath in, and breathe out. Good. Okay, hamstring stretch, stretch down from the waist, down to the floor, down to your toes, wherever you're comfortable. Nice and slowly back up. Take a step out to the side. Lean with one knee. Stretch that inner thigh. And the other way. Good, back to the middle. Feet together. Take a step forward, keep that back foot flat on the floor, lean forward with that front knee to a bend, keep your core nice and tight, body upright. Good, feet together and swap legs. Lovely, great stuff. Give 
yourselves a clap. Round of applause, pat on the back, whatever. And we'll see you Saturday at half 11.